let's get it let's get it so today was incline chest annihilation baby all i did was straight focus on the upper part of my chest so i can get some more fullness up there get a little bit more definition because your boy done put back on some skin since vegas man i went back up like four pounds from the you know uh festivities or whatnot so i had to get it i did two warm-up sets going right into this and then my first set was 135 I counted that as a first set, even though that was technically three in a sense. But next, I moved up to uh, 155, and all of this is going to be uh, on the incline bench press. That's the only actual bench press barbell that I did today was only uh, incline. But I feel pretty good. Uh, I did have to go to the uh, doctor yesterday and get an MRI on my back still because I'm still having those complications and issues, but I'm working through that. Uh, next I moved up to I think this is about yep 175 and I got all these little um, I got the pounds uh, coming through the screen so it kind of keep me on track or whatnot but at uh, 175 I say uh, that went up pretty good my max before my back surgery used to be on incline was 225 so I'm trying to work back up to 225 at some point but you know I'm just taking it day by day, trying to see what I can do, assess my tolerance, and I'm still working around my back and my sciatic nerve and stuff like that. So everything I do, uh, if I'm doing it and you see me doing it, that means that you know it's not hurting me at the moment or whatnot. But don't get it twisted, your boy popping the motion, and I got on that lidocaine patch on my back that you can't see. Uh, that way it keeps me uh, keeps me feeling good throughout my workout. I think next I moved up to I think this is 185 if I was not if I'm correct and uh, that felt pretty good I got that up for a few reps and then I moved up to 205 and it's 205 I just wanted three to four reps on this and uh, I think I got about three reps which is not bad for an old man <laughs> old man with a bad back right and a young face I guess that's that's the way I want to portray myself right but uh, the 205 felt pretty good I had to put my foot up to get a little bit more leverage because uh, some apparent reason they kind of had me wobbly a little bit but you know I felt pretty good then I moved over to dumbbell incline press started my first set uh, with the 70s and uh, the next set you're gonna see is uh, with the 80s and I finished the other three sets with the 80s and so I so I did like what four sets on this uh, dumbbell incline with like I said one being 70 pounds and the other three um, being 80s and man them 80s make a lot of ruckus when you drop them on the ground I make it seem like I'm strong and all that but you all know <laughs> so like I said I uh, just want to show y'all one set of the 80s to let you see that your boy was getting them up and uh, my max on dumbbell incline before the surgery was about 90 to 95 and uh, as you can see the 80s are going up kind of at a decent pace not fast as I would want them but you know it is what it is uh, next I moved into the uh, incline fly using the cable machine because like I said uh, you know when I'm at the gym I'm taking that dumbbell fly out of my equation and I, I think honestly in all honesty this doesn't hurt my my right shoulder dumbbells kind of hurt my shoulder both of them actually but my right one a little bit more but you know this is my favorite exercise when it comes to flies now then I moved into some machine press I had to come out the shirt before I was getting hot and I started that thing off with three plates and uh, these next couple sets you're gonna see is gonna be very interesting so I start this bad boy off with my heaviest set first right so which is three plates that's my heaviest my second set right here is a drop set so I start with three plates see how many I can get and I try to go max I'm not sure how many I got but I try to go max and once I start to max out my reps I drop that down to about two plates which is what you're gonna see here in a hot second see so I drop it down to about two plates and then I'm gonna crank out you know another max set on these two plates and then that'll be my actual second set but some people might say that's like two like two or three sets because two sets in one but no I consider it just you know my second full set so then I crank out some more reps you know with the two plates just to see just to see how many I can get with a focus of at least more than six <laughs> and it's starting to hurt really bad then I move right into that third set and that third set is a left off is a pickup from where I left off on that second set so now I'm starting at two plates because I want reps now so I'm trying to get more reps more reps force more blood in there or whatnot and then I'm gonna do one drop right here down to a plate and I'm just gonna rep that bad boy out anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smack that like button I really would appreciate it uh, it brings more people to the channel it gets the video out there make sure you share it leave a comment below if you guys like this workout uh, and if you do decide to use this workout 
uh, please let me know. That way uh, we can kind of talk about it so I can see what kind of gains you're getting off of it or whatnot. Anyway, it's been your boy Jay representing Jam Monster Fitness. Hit up the Instagram, the Twitter, the Periscope, you know what I mean, the whole shebang. And uh, i catch you guys on the flip side, all right? Peace.